The fight is starting to get personal ahead of our August election with the CLP accused of stealing a campaign pitch from the Liberal Party in Queensland. While there's nothing new in parties sharing ideas, the similarities with this one are hard to miss. It's the five-point plan rolled out in grand style by the CLP last week, featuring the key points for driving the Territory forward. If you followed the Queensland election, the spin might sound familiar, and that's because it is. The five points for the Territory are very close to the five rolled out by the CLP's Queensland counterparts in March. Similar wording, similar layout. In fact, the only big difference is the colour. The CLP campaign is a cut and paste campaign straight from a wannabe uh, LMP politician in Queensland. Now they say we're copying from Queensland. Well, I think Julia Gillard's certainly uh, uh, playing the tune for this government here in the Northern Territory. The CLP will be hoping the angle has the same effect it did in Queensland, where the LNP beat Labor in a brutal landslide. The five-point plan may be similar to Queensland's, but the CLP's planning policy announced yesterday is not. Leader Terry Mills is promising to break the Department of Lands and Planning into two and have an independent planning commission who will make the decisions. The government is claiming proposals like Arafura Harbour, a marina along East Point, will get the go-ahead under the CLP's plan, but the opposition says that's simply untrue. The CLP's plans to put in place a hand-picked planning commission is about giving the green light to carving out our iconic foreshore and allowing development despite the wishes of residents. Well, that's just a blatant lie. Uh, the fact is that uh, Dealey has got form on this. She makes things up as she goes. Uh, if people want to know what the country Liberals are up to, they should talk to the country Liberals. As the election draws nearer, it seems things are starting to get nasty. Amy Davis, Nine News.